Hi, this is Don Carr with virtualroof.com and actremote.com. We're in the business of hosting ACT on virtual servers and we host the full desktop versions of ACT plus many other applications. The reason I'm making this video today is we got a call from a customer wanting to know how to change limited access contact records in the database as a batch as opposed to individually one at a time. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. I'm speaking to you from Orlando, Florida. I realize these photos you're looking at on my desktop are not uh, indicative of Florida. Um, that's actually our, our uh, home in Montana. And the point of that is, is that you can live anywhere uh, with our service. And our data center is actually in Bellingham, Washington. So at any rate, I'm going to switch over to my virtual desktop right now. And obviously I'm on the ACT screen. This is the full-blown desktop version of ACT. If you take a look at our desktop screen, you can see I've got Microsoft Word on here. I've got QuickBooks on here, um, Microsoft Outlook, all the Microsoft Office applications, and so on and so forth. So just wanted to sh show you that real quick. Going back to ACT, let's take care of these limited access contact records. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go to Lookup, and we're going to go to Advanced. And then we're going to go to contact by access. And I'm just going to choose the default settings here. I could, if I wanted it, wanted to, limit this to a particular user. So, for instance, if I wanted to just find the records that were assigned to Denise Carr, I could do a search for that and make those records public. But in this particular video, all I want to do is just find them all. So I'm going to click OK. And you see I've got 11 contact records here that all have limited access. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the very first record, and that's highlighted. Now I'm going to hold my shift key down and click on the last record. And I've got them all highlighted. I'm going to right click. I'm going to click on Edit Contact Access and Make Contacts Public. And this is going to make all 11 of these records public. And as soon as this is finished, I'm done. And there you go, it's just letting us know that the lookup criteria is no longer valid because there's no more records in the database with limited access. So that's it. That's how you do it. If you have any questions, you can give us a call um, or go to our website, virtualroof.com. You can also go to YouTube and do a search for virtualroof.com and you'll see lots of other videos on our service as well as uh, other instructional videos on how things are done. Thanks for watching.